How to light your drumsticks on fire by Rick Rusey. How to burn the house down by Rick Rusey. This week on Start Playing, we set fire to my drums. See what happens. Fire! Uh, Keith, don't get mad at me. <laughs> These are my sample sticks. <laughs> Not samples. These are my used ones. Um, you can see they're not in the greatest shape. This is the worst when they do this right here because then it just kind of flings fire all over the place. You don't want that. Um, <laughs> so we get rid of those ones. This one just didn't light on fire very much. Don't know why. This one completely came off and the tip came off. That's not good. Uh, this one was my trusty little guy. It worked. It's the first one I did and it worked pretty much every time. So. Uh, Alright, so let me show you around though. Uh, this is what I did. I used this, uh, and I'm going to grab a drumstick here. I wrapped Kevlar. I wrapped Kevlar around the drumsticks, like so. And then I just used duct tape to hold it at the end. This came off before because this is kind of a new drumstick. I shouldn't be using new drumsticks on this, but it was what I saw. Um, and so now I've, I'm roughing it up like the other one so that it kind of catches on it. That should work. Right, this should be much better. I soaked it in kerosene. We got the kerosene over here. Just kind of dipped it in kerosene. Um, and then lit it on fire with this thing. That's about it. Uh, safety measures. My drop bucket. So if something gets lit, I just drop it in there. Uh, that's a theory. I didn't ever actually use that. Um, I pretty much every time something got lit on fire, I like <gasps> threw it out of my hand. <laughs> Um, cause that's the instinctual thing is to get the fire away from your hands. Look at my hand by the way. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. My hand is like totally charcoal burnt. I didn't burn my hand, I just got a lot of smoke in it. Uh, what else do I got here? So, here's my drum set. Uh, so I, do, I took a couple precautions. I put some tape on here to make sure I didn't get kerosene on here cause when you hit it, uh, the kerosene drips onto your heads and it kind of splatters. Uh, so I didn't get any kerosene on my drums as far as I know. Um, these are kind of older cymbals, like that. Um, you can see my heads are just completely destroyed. Uh, I knew I was gonna have to replace these heads anyway, so um, that's that. Uh, and then I got my mixer here, which just kind of allows me to bring everything in. So every week that I do these videos, I run it off of this mixer here and then it goes into my computer, and then I just multi-track, record everything. Um, it's generally one take, uh, and no cutting in and out and that sort of thing. This week, because I was doing the drums, uh, I couldn't do that. Uh, essentially what happened was the drums wouldn't stay on fire, the drumsticks wouldn't stay on fire long enough, and so I had to cut a bunch of those together. The guitar amp, and Pedal board, bass amp, bass, that's about it. 